Hey, what's going on, guys? Thank you for tuning in into another of my video slash podcast, The Art of Failure. I'm trying to push in more and more podcasts in a more frequent time frame. I've been having a couple things that have been slowing me down, work life, and excuses. Excuses being the main one, honestly, being the first one. Excuses of not making time, excuses of being lazy. So that's an issue, right? Uh, what we're going to talk about is what I saw l- last night or yesterday in the morning. I don't know if any of you are familiar, know, uh, familiar with Alex Hormozzi. So he's a businessman. His story is very deep about failure and how failure made him such a successful person in the future. From what he was to what he is now is just every lesson that he learned it was from failure and very inspiring one of my goals is to meet him someday it's just such a inspiration so a person that didn't give up push find a way found a way out found a way of winning by just thinking outside the box so he wrote uh, something and the quote goes like this you are stressed because you know you have to make decisions that you're just pretty much postponing. So uh, I was thinking, I'm like, wow, that is very deep because what gets us stressed, and he's very right, is because we keep thinking and thinking about the things we have to do, but we are not doing them. So we try to push ourselves just to take that and just do it, you know, just push ourselves to the action. Um, it comes to a time that you just overthink it. You drain yourself mentally, physically. And at the end of the day, you don't accomplish anything. So you look at yourself and it just, you go down into <laughs> spending your energy the wrong way. You're spending it trying to see how you can find another way out. And choices are what makes our lives. Sometimes we're going to make good choices. Sometimes we're going to make choices that are not so positive in our life but we can still learn and that's the main issue and I feel a lot of people don't understand that and I put myself into one of those spots sometimes we just don't we don't realize that making choices something we have to do and we just gotta go with the best one and I've been I, I I've been one of those persons that is very stressed because I haven't done the choices I know I have to make. I haven't taken action of the things I know I'm supposed to do. I keep postponing it or just too afraid of taking the action needed. And I've been really afraid. This is just something I don't know how to deal with. You're always going to have things that are not going to come out the way you want it. That's life, right? What we have to learn is that you got to think on your feet, take the best of everything is hard, you know, and it's not an easy thing. It's not a walk in the park. It's just life teaching you the, a new lesson. And from that lesson, you can overcome it and you can become a 10 times person that is better than the person that was before. And we let our, our overthinking, our just looking at things and not taking any moment to just create more problems for ourselves because at the end of the day we look at things we look at ourselves we're like wow i'm still here i haven't made any progress and i'm not pushing forward so we get stressed by not doing what we're supposed to choices are just you're gonna get choice a and b or c and d you have to think which one no matter what happens is gonna be the one that you are gonna be more comfortable dealing with and you're not gonna hate yourself for taking. Everything in life is choices and sometimes we got too many choices to choose from. So it makes us even go a little more, what's the right word? It just takes us for, just takes us longer to actually decide what to do. And it, it's just the way he said it, just, just put something in there in my head. I was like, wow. It's been me through the years. I know what I have to do. I've been stressed, but I just didn't make any changes. And I went through life a lot more stressed than I am now. Don't get me wrong. I'm still stressed because I still got a lot of 
a lot of things I have to do. I have to choose one thing over the other so I can feel better. Maybe I can be at peace with myself. It's not easy. We have to learn how to push ourselves into the uncomfortable zones of life. And that's one thing that we're not shown through life. I was shown to take the safeties, safety road in life, the safety journey, because the safety journey is not going to bring pain. And without pain, you're not suffering. And without suffering, is happiness. However, what I'm realizing this last couple months is that without pain, there is no learning. I heard this from Andrew Tate, right? He said that men tend to learn when they suffer. When there's pain involved, we tend to learn faster and better. And I believe so. What hurts is a punch. So you try to cover yourself from a punch. And that's how we do it in life. If you have a nice life, there's going to be a time where something is going to happen. And you have to become somebody that is a strength. You're going to have to become somebody that is very strong in the mind and physically. And if you didn't have those issues to test you or make you become a better person, stronger person, you're going to fail. You're not going to be able to actually take everything you know and put it to the test. And you're going to break in the moment. You're going to freeze in the moment. And that's why... Uh, that quote from Tyson that says, uh, everybody has a plan until they get punched in the face. And it's very true. Sometimes life is going to throw you into places you don't know, situations you didn't really think it could happen. And you're going to freeze if you haven't had any previous experience with uncomfortability when things don't go the way you want it. So we have to make choices and always take the choice that at the end is going to be more rewarding that's all i can really say don't ever take the choice that is gonna be easy on you don't take the choice that is just gonna give you safety and i'm talking from experience i always took the safety road in life the safety choices would wouldn't bring any pain and suffering and i look back to my 20s and i'm like if i would have risked this and this where could i been what would have become of me but i didn't know any better and that's what i don't want people to just be in that place and then when the 30s 40s 50s come you're gonna look back and be like i should have done it i should have take that should have risked it i should i could have risked it i didn't have this now having a family is a luxury because you can do everything and you have to only worry worry about yourself once you have a family this a lot more that you're risking a lot more you can lose and don't get me wrong your family is going to support you but you always got to look that you, their safety is first and that's the thing you don't have the luxury of just yourself so for all you people that are by yourself i would suggest go do it you can get up and rebuild everything in no time and don't be afraid, it's just something they put in our minds so we do not push to the next level in life. What's, what's failure is nothing, it's a lesson. When you were a kid, you had to fall down to be able to get up and walk and run. Think about it like that. You don't have anything that is stopping you except your mind. Trust me, it takes time. Read books, listen to podcasts, that, that makes you change. So thank you for watching, guys. I really appreciate you giving me your time and enjoy. Let's be better every day. Let's become the best version of ourselves day by day. Remember, it's just a journey that we have to look at the end. But what makes us is the whole journey. So thank you for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Have a great day. Enjoy.